And to the last uh, semi-finals of the evening session here in Astana. Super heavyweights, 91 kilos plus. Sumar Gusol of Syria goes up against Paramjit Samota of India. And in the second semi, Zhang Jili of China goes up against uh, Izatula Ergashev of Uzbekistan. It will be the Syrian-Indian semi-final we focus on first. And uh, out of the uh, Jayesh club of uh, Syria, at 26 years of age, this is uh, Sumar Gusan, three times the national champion. By the semi-finals for this man, first time we've seen him in action here in Ashtana, up against uh, Paramjit Samota of uh, India. India have been having a fantastic Asian Olympic qualifying tournament so far here. 23 years of age, 185 centimeters, 85 centimeters in height, three times the national super heavyweight champion, third bronze medalist in the Asian Games for 2010 and 2011, and the Commonwealth Games gold medalist. I'm sure. There's uh, one or two super heavyweights across the world watching uh, Paramjit Samota very carefully here. Poland, Korea, Vietnam, Azerbaijan, Norway hosting the five judges for the first of the super heavyweight semi-finals. India in the blue corner, Syria in the red. Well, no fight without any gloves, I'm afraid. But of course, standard issue all of the gloves by the International Boxing Association well Xiang Zili of China who will come in the second semi-final is the big favorite to take the super heavyweight category and it will only be the winner of uh, this weight division who earns the place at the london 2012 so for many of the boxers the semi-finals has been the achievement that they've come here for for some just reaching the semi-finals was good enough but not for the super heavyweight boxers you've got to go right the way to the end of the tournament you've got to win tomorrow in the finals here starting at 2 p.m local time here in ashtana make a note of that in your diaries because you will see some of the world's finest boxers in action to bring this uh, thrilling tournament to a close but for now let's get into the first of the two semis for the super heavyweight division Goosen in the red for Syria, Samota for India in the blue. Changes from both boxes. Good tempo. Halfway through the first, evenly matched. Oh, right.
right hand. A hook twice into the target there for Samota. through the defence there of Goosen. A hard-hitting combination, and again. Right hand, effective from the Syrian, and another hard-hitting combination. Good footwork as well from Goosen for a big man. Nicely balanced, working his way through the angles, out of the corner. He's in the corner once again. Works his way around, covers up tight. Right hand again, right on the target for Goosen. Good work with the jab for Samota. Contact through the guard of Goosen. Good first round for both boxers. That uh, Goosen, whose combinations in the mid part of the first round look to be the more effective. And it is a 6 3. Three point lead for Goosen after the first round. Some impressive scoring shots there, halfway through. Question now, can he keep that tempo and momentum going? Point advantage for the boxer out of the red corner, Sumar Gusen from Syria. Well, Samuta starts the second round as he did the first, wants to get on with it. No fancy talking or work here. Samuta not happy to be trailing by three, but Gusen has the counter punches to match. Syrian boxer in red seems happy to let Samota dictate the attack. Jeet Samota. Good jabs from both boxes. Good body work as well from uh, Samota of India. Through the guard and another two valuable points earned there for Goosen to maintain his lead. Oh, a good jab again from Samuta. Closely matched these two boxers, but three, four combinations. 
but Goosen starting to look a little tired. With a minute to go in the second round, Samota must capitalize if Goosen has a fitness issue here. It has been a very fast pace from the first bell in the opening round. the elbow Samota warned Samota needs to keep that energy up needs to keep that pace going not throwing as many punches but Goosen's combinations are just that fractionally more Clearly slowed down here, Goosen. End of round two. Again, the accuracy of Sumar Goosen from Syria. 10 4, six points clear. Giving Goosen a nine point advantage. All of those punches scoring for Goosen. Spotting the openings. He may look a little tired. He may look a little cumbersome. But for a good man, his accuracy of punch is most impressive. And that is what's given Sumar Goosen for Syria. Nine point clear advantage going into this third and final round. Three minutes for Paramjit Samuta of India to try and turn this one around. Once again, Goosen. to the call clearly a blow from Goosen after the referee had called halt good body work from Samuta and a right hook there's Goosen again 50% strike rate from the Syrian in those combinations. And again, as Samota just throws those punches into the guard. Goosen counters with two hard-hitting combinations right through the guard of Samota to collect the point score. Oh, that was a lovely sidestep uppercut. Great footwork from Goosen. Well, he may be fainting the fact that he's a little tired, but he's still demonstrating great skills. Up. For such a big man. <laughs> Not sure you want to go much further than three three minute rounds, Goosen, but you have to respect his counter attacks. His defense is excellent. Samota getting very few of those punches through the guard. And Goosen completely the opposite. It's a warning. Again, hard 
hitting combination. Goosen says, give me more. <laughs> well, not listening to the referee's instruction, a warning for Samota. Game Goosen. 25 seconds left on the clock. Well, India have had a fantastic day here at the semi-finals in Ashtana, Kazakhstan, but it looks to me that this one belongs to Syria. That's Kusin. Down on the canvas once again, but not for the reason that the Indian fans would like. Three seconds, that's it, it's over. And uh, the first person to congratulate Goosen is Paramjit Samota. Very impressive work from Sumar Goosen in the super heavyweight division. First of the two semi-finals. 23-12. Comfortably winning all three rounds, both boxers given a warning from the referee, but Goosen, very powerful, accurate counter-attacks, goes through to the final of the super heavyweight division.